Um, hi, I guess. It's been a while since I've actually done a video. Um, I am here today to show you how to build this. This is a mess, to be honest. This is a chicken cooker, which is a vanilla um, build that you can, do, you can do, which allows you to get cooked chicken completely automated no other effort put in after the machine is built and it works with chickens in the top uh, laying eggs into a hopper which goes into a dispenser the baby chickens sit on a half slab and once they grow up their heads dip into the lava they die and the cooked chicken is picked up by a hopper this open crate here now in Britannia terms, this machine is kind of broken, if we're honest, because it means that we can get a dry setup of free mana. Now, what a dry setup means is that this this um, machine, unlike any um, mana setup I've seen in Britannia so far, needs no additional additional setting no additional mana put in and it doesn't need mana to maintain itself it is pretty much a case of you build this machine you shove a gorm gormarialis on the side and you're good to go but before i actually show you how to build this let's actually look at the gormarialis in the laxical britannia uh now basically the gormarialis will eat any food item that's thrown at it but as it says here, you can it'll only digest a single piece of food at a time. So if you dump a load of food onto it, it will only eat one of them and it will waste the rest. So it needs a timer. It you need to time it. Now thankfully the timing is easy because it will um take one second for every piece of of the hunger bar that it would restore. So if I drop into survival, so basically each one of these would be a second for when it fills up. Now, chick cooked chicken fills up three, so this would take three seconds to eat a piece of chicken, but, well, I'll show you that later. And did I put the sand in? I didn't put the sand in. I'm being very unprofessional today, aren't I? So, this is a chest of pretty much everything you'll need to get this set up. Now, these are optional and I'll explain these a bit later, but for now... Um, let's build. Uh, did I? Yeah, I've got the mana pool. Okay, let's see, what am I... You're probably also going to want a pickaxe thinking about it, because... Uh, let's, let's get a mana steel one, because... Why not? This is Britannia. Uh, we're going to set this up over here a bit. So first things first. Uh, place a block. An open crate. We'll, we don't need this block here now. Um, where my Hopper. And this is the platform. And then you put the slab on top of that. That's the platform that chickens are sitting on in that one. And I need a flight mechanic, don't I? Uh, Flugel Tiara. Apparently, I need to do special characters. Um, which one do I want? They're Flugel wings. And then let's get the um, creative tablet just so I can fly around a bit. There we go, that's a bit easier now. Um, oh wait, I need the I have the flugel as well. Okay, right. Um, now where was I? Okay, so this needs two things to come out of it. First of all, it needs the dispenser, so... We'll place that like that. We'll stand here. Dispenser placed. Don't need that block underneath it now, as far as I remember. Um, then on this side, 
sticky piston placed like that. And that's done like that. Now, that's where our stone torch is gone. There, there. Um, redstone torch on top of that. And you could actually make this higher up if you wanted to, so you don't need both the torch. Wait, did I do it on that? Is that what I did over here? Hold on a sec. Yeah, this is what I, I did a slightly different setup over there, but. Um, anyway. Like that and this hovering eyeglass, which we're not going to turn on because this will t because we're going to put one piece of sand in there, it will tick every second, which will allow this dispenser to shoot as much as possible. We could do a more comp complex redstone setup to get this to tick um, less than a second, but honestly, for the compactness and neatness sakes, I do it like this so. Next, we want to set up this side. This side's a bit more tricky, if I remember. Yeah. So, first we want... Like that. I believe... Um, so, yeah, that's... That. Then we want a... Is it a repeater coming out of that? Yeah, it is a repeater. I only built that one like half an hour ago when I was seeing if I could compress this down anymore. So, um, and I'm actually kind of building this backwards from what I did before. I'm sure this, yeah, this is the only redstone torch I need left now. So pretty much, comparatively go there and a mana pool go there. We're not putting either of those down yet, and I'll explain why in a minute but first uh let's take my good i can't get this back from that i'm never sure with glass types because vanilla glass obviously when it breaks you've lost it forever unless you got silk touch or a vitreous pickaxe but most modded glasses are actually nice so yeah anyway we want to put that like that and like that and um bucket of lava in the top so that's the basic machine and okay i screwed up slightly but it's not big what we want to do is oh i've got to be fast about this this is gonna be fun shit 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 well that went well Don't say that's going to destroy all the redstone. Um, so Vasky, if you could add a way to remove lava very quickly, I guess. No, nah, um, that was... That was terrible. Honestly, I should be... Um, Ashamed of myself for that. Okay, how much was actually lost? I lost two redstone torches by the looks of it. That one and that one, and I lost a repeater. Which is that one. But yeah, that, that didn't go well. And, you know, I'm building this minimally, just... To give you the idea, you can decorate this or hide the things or enhance it. Now, in here, you put your chickens. I've got chicken eggs, obviously, because creative mode and I can't be f bothered to throw chicken eggs into this until baby chickens come out. But, you know, that's just me. The speed of this machine will depend greatly on how many chickens are thrown in this, ho in this little hopper area. For more chicken, you can throw more eggs but obviously the problem there is entity lag so be careful 
And with that, the main chicken cooker is done. What this will do is we'll basically drop chicken on the ground. Now, we're going to have the mana pool here. I will not put it down yet, mainly because of the hopper hock. Because if I don't put the hopper hock, or if I do put the hopper hock down um, after the mana pool, it will link to it and it will draw, it will draw mana from it, even if it doesn't need it, which it doesn't in this one. And... I forgot to grab my wand of the forest, so what we're gonna so this man spread would also be linked to the pool that's gonna go there. And we're gonna put a redstone comparator. The redstone comparator will um check how full the pool is, and when it's full, it will put out a full 15 bars. And we're gonna make it compare it to this. 15. Once these two once this is 15 essentially equal to this it will put out full blast turn this piston off and kill all remaining chickens no matter if they can drop chicken or not basically an off switch for the system to stop entities building up and stop chicken production now i believe it's is it on the redstone torch yes it is on the redstone torch i can remember things hurrah you put that there that there Bang, bang. Torch. Um, I'll have to put the hopper, pick up the hopper and put it down again, I right hear. Open crate. Where's my man steel pickaxe? Now, the main reason I'm building this is because I wanted to see what the earliest mana system you could get in was and for a long time I thought it was the endo flame because of the um the trees but then the best setup I saw for that needed warp lenses which is alfheim but if you don't want to get an alfheim that's a massive undertaking so yeah you know, it's it'll be a massive undertaking to automate it otherwise I, I saw someone automate it on the um, Britannia subreddit and they had a lot of redstone so I mean I'm not the best with redstone sometimes so I so you know I wanted to cut down as much on it as possible like my original setup for this was at least four times bigger with redstone like I've cut down on it a lot since then but yeah so the hopper hawk here will grab anything that this open crate drops and will then deposit it into any inventory that at all now if you put a frame and an item in the frame it will only deposit that item into that inventory so this is only going to take cooked chicken the cooked chicken will then dump into this open crate and onto the gourmet alice and the hopper hocks down now so i can put the mana pool down and buy this here. Now the thing is, for this to work every three seconds, you need to get a better mana spreader. But if you don't have one, well, you're going to have to use lenses. This is what I came up with. I'm not sure whether this is the best mana lens you could use for this. But essentially, my aim was to get the mana out of the, the um, spreader as fast as possible. Because although this can eat... The thing in three seconds and be empty this won't be and i don't want to lose food because the mana spreader is too slow so i combined a velocity and a potency lens a velocity lens allows uh a mana shot to be shot out faster and a potency allows for more mana to be shot out in that um in that shot so my aim was to basically get mana out of this as fast as possible. Whether that's ideal, I do not know. And, wow, we're actually close to being done with this. We put a hovering hourglass here, and we will set this one up. This one's going to be on a five second timer. Even with this being, as, being like it is, I like to be conservative with that. And that's pretty much the same setup. You can see chickens in this one. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is dump all the chickens you want to put in the top i'm going to put 10 in for demonstration purposes 
and then put your piece of sand in this and well yeah that's it I mean I've kind of tried to cover that up and make it look nice but I failed miserably yeah that's it now something Britannia added in and I don't know whether you can disable this as a config option if you can I'd recommend doing it but if not you could be stuck with it which is that animals or certain in fact let me get the lexicon of Britannia back out a sec so I can show you this Um, I think it's, is it basics or, it's miscellaneous, natural shedding, basically certain beings will shed items, um, at random points, now, chickens will drop their feathers, now, in vanilla, this isn't a problem because they don't drop feathers, but in modded, as you can see, feathers are going to be dropping off those chickens like hell, and a lot of item entities on the ground, isn't always a good thing which is why we got this over here these are your optional extras on if you actually want these or not if you now the chest or the hop basically do you want to keep these feathers or do you want to destroy them now i've personally chosen to destroy them because honestly if i'm going to have feathers i'd have a separate another one of these set up without the mana because i'd want to keep the cooked chicken as well so but yeah it's really it's real really quite simple you destroy this piece of dirt or not if there's no dirt there you put a piece of a bit of lava there you put an open crate on top of that a hopper there and it grabbed the feather immediately i think and feather there so basically the hopper will drop feather straight into lava and destroy it and I kind of want to demonstrate it working. Is this one got any grown chickens yet? Yeah, that's the, that's the only problem. Because here are the problems with this system. First of all, you can't control when chickens lay eggs. And you can't control when chickens come out of the eggs. So you could be waiting a long time for mana with this system. And that that's a problem with it. But what I've built in with the redstone here, as you can see... Is pretty much a shut off switch so when this is full it pulls that thing out kills that this piston also pulls back and stops it from activating this so no wasted chicken no more chickens born and all extra items to I've got to disable rain come on thank you yeah you know, no extra chickens and no extra cooked chicken and no extra feathers um kicking around so this system will shut itself down every now and then now you could if you wanted to get redstone mana spreaders to shoot the hourglasses to turn them off but honestly i was trying to get this as little mana loss as possible so just using a piston to pull pull out the um thing as possible and the reason this dispenser never gets shut off is simply because if these chickens lay too many eggs or shed too many feathers and they basically block up all of this you're then handling a lot of entities being created on the ground at once here so this these chickens can be hell for you if you're not ready but yeah this is a out in a vanilla world like in a proper world and it I mean it took a long time for it to make mana but unlike other systems you don't put ma you don't have to put mana in and you don't have to, once it's built i could you know i could just walk away and go adventuring you know i don't i don't know um you know i could i could kill i could go you know kill some sheep because these sheep annoy you annoy me all the time and then it'd be like eh, time to go home and recharge my mana tablet and hopefully you'll have mana in here if it's chunk loaded um one other recommendation i will make simply for sanity's sake is that if you have anything that can stop certain blocks and making sounds like a sound muffler from i think extra utilities put it next to this dispenser because it ticks constantly and it is a living menace but uh, yeah that's the 
automated chicken oven and um, mana product, Gore Morales automation. I hope you've enjoyed this and um, I hope that one of these chickens will grow up just so I can show you what this does. I'll probably like cut the video here and cut back to a chicken growing up. The... Oh, oh, hey, we got a chicken in this one now. Nice. It happened when I wasn't looking. Come on. Grow up and die. Aha! So yeah, chicken gets picked up, dumped on the Gorm Morales. The Gorm Morales ate it too quickly, and um, Mana gets shot. Now this our other our one we just built only has a is that one baby chicken there? But yeah. Now I will leave it up to you to decide on what this should like be decorated as. You know, if you want to put pillars here and try and just cover up all the redstone you know it's up to you but yes um but yeah i thank you for watching it if you have any feedback on this like you know a better mana lens to put here um feel free to tell me because i would love to improve this so thank you for Bye.